like Harvey. <laughs> like, use your words. <laughs> Looking after Harvey is an around the clock job. He's still not over that little tantrum because he's thinking about it. When he was born, I could never have imagined the amount of attention and care he would require every day of his life. I would say Harvey's most troubling symptoms are the behaviour. He's got behaviour problems anyway. He's also going through puberty like a teenager, so that on top. So I call it the Kevin and Perry stage. Oh, God. Uh, did you just swear? I won't give me. I thought that's what you said. <laughs> He's proud of Willie's. It's very, very challenging because all he wants to do is eat. Um, and obviously he's overweight, so it is like a major health issue for him. What do you do with that? In the bin. Right. <gasps> Looking after one child with a disability is a significant challenge. Slow down. <laughs> no, slow down. This is not a race. But for Catherine Krupinski, the challenge is doubled. On July the 21st, 1993, Catherine gave birth to twin boys, Harry and Zachary. Already a mother to a healthy daughter, Catherine was devastated to learn that both her boys were born with a disease called Fragile X Syndrome. Everything was slow, late. Feeding was difficult, sitting up very late, crawling just about by the time they were one. The condition causes Harry and Zachary to suffer from severe learning difficulties and social anxieties. While the boys are physically fine, they are unable to get by without Catherine's constant care. I feel really sad that they may not have a fulfilled life. I don't know that they'll ever, you know, fall in love. I don't know if they'll ever get married. And so I think that's awful. It's, it's a terrible thing. I can only imagine the challenge of caring for twin boys who have special needs, and I can't wait to meet Harry and Zachary to see what life is like for them. But first, Catherine briefs me on what to expect. They may turn their backs on you, they might go hello like this, but not really look at you. Yeah. Can you say hello to Katie? Hi, Katie. And Hi Zachary. what's your name? Zachary. How are you, Katie? I'm all right, Zach. Yeah. Or they might just run out. Only got two of we could have fun today. <laughs> Zach! It seems like it's like looking after Harvey, but two of them. Even just, I've just seen five minutes of the boys. You've got to give this lady credit. You know, it's full on for it. Come on, I need to shave you. The boys require a huge amount of care from their mum. While they can wash and dress themselves to an extent, they still struggle with some of the everyday tasks that most 22-year-olds would take for granted. They can't live on their own. They would have to have some sort of support. Someone. They do things with me. I say, right, we'll put this on, put the potatoes on. If I wasn't here, they could quite well then go off and do something else and the pan leave would boil it, dry right. and it would sit on fire. They don't if, know the danger no, aspect. No, they don't think it through. You've got a good mum, haven't you? Yeah. They're 22 now, but they've still probably only got a reading age of seven. They can't do so many things that you would expect children to be able to do. Slow down. No, no, no. You haven't got it. That's his drink. Stop. <laughs> Having spent a few hours in the company of Catherine and the twins, it has become clear to me that Harry and Zachary will find living alone a real struggle. And Catherine has serious concerns about their long-term future. That's, I think, my biggest nightmare and biggest worry, because what's going to happen if I'm not here? And I don't know. It's almost too terrifying to think about. Looking after Harry and Zachary, who have such energy, is a hectic task for Catherine, but she knows where she can take her boys to give herself at least some respite. Red, 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 red. So how long have you been coming here? Um, since they were babies, to be honest. I usually know where they are. So, like, they've run off ahead now. So yeah. I know they'll be in the air for So house. you can relax a bit. To a point. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't change them now, I think, for the world. They really give a lot of love and affection. And I suppose you don't get many 22-year-olds who will still come up to the mums and give them a big hug and a kiss and not be afraid to do that even when you're out. I know how challenging it is to be with Harvey and spending the day with Catherine, I can see what challenges she has daily. I just think she's such an inspirational woman. I think she's a wonderful mum. She's doing a great job. <laughs>